Hello everyone in YouTube. I just want to talk, give a little my uh, my idea of. See, this is today's gonna be a little special. See, even though I use this for mostly my movie thoughts or and rants and reviews, this one's different. Today I'm gonna to discuss about um, the soon to be released Transformers Prime season three, which is what they call Beast Hunters. Now. Now this is my thought before it comes out. I haven't seen it. I didn't watch it yet. They say it's gonna come out in spring of 2013. No official date on when they're gonna premiere it, but still, but still, I have some thoughts about this that I want to address to everyone, to everyone here. Now, before I go, I am a big Transformers fan, most likely because some of some of the shows were, were classics in my classics to me. Whether it be the first generation, Beast Wars, the um, Transformers anim animated series, e even the Michael Bay movies, which feels like it's a little—they're alienating the Transformers fans due to the fact that they use military, that he keeps on bringing the military. But the but the one I really like the most is of course Transformers Prime. Now it does have its unique uniqueness. The animation looks good, combining 2D, 2D backgrounds to 3, 3D, 3D modeling. The characters are, are well rounded. The, the, it has the voice of Optimus Prime from the movies. The story, most of the stories are pr talk about the whole Transformers anthology on some occasions, while the rest is always about is always about, about missions on Earth and such. And and I really like. Like how they bring three human surrogates into the mix instead of just one, very, very unique niche. I mean, Jack being the lead, looking like the leader, Raphael being the hacker, and Miko. Well, let's just say I think that was like a last minute decision, and she kind of reminds me of Sorry Sumdeck, if not too rob robust. All in which, pretty, pretty good factors. Now, when I watch the end of season two, which of course I have to watch in my sister's apartment due to the fact fact that it was during the whole power outage from Hurricane Sandy, I was surprised, shocked at how it all ended. When the tra when when the Autobots have no choice but to evacuate their base because the Decepticons set up their fort close to their close to their close to their facility and. And then at way way up at the end, they just, the cons destroyed the facility, and the and the last thing you see is Optimus Prime's arm sticking out. That that was deep. That was the mother of all cliffhangers. You think Optimus losing his memories at the end of the first season season was was huge? This was colossal. So now we all have to wait until the third season comes out. Now, be that in mind that somehow I don't think this is gonna be a good, good third season. No, 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 no! Don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure once it premieres, it would, it would rival its predecessors. But to be fair, I think they make. I think the people behind Transformers Prime have made a few major mistakes here. I want to I want to give you a few pointers. The first one, the title of the episode, the season actually, they're calling it Beast Hunters, and they showed the trailer of a of a dangerous monster called Predaking, which obviously c could could be the ultimate bad guy for the third season, though I find that quite quite iffy. I mean, when you think about it, the Autobots have been separated to different parts of the country. And they have no other choice but to um, survive until they can find a way to group in. Now, be that as it may, I, w I was able to look in through the internet, the Wikipedia, and YouTube, and, th and they say that they're going to add the Predacons into the mix. So, okay, obviously. Predaking, Predacons, probably Predaking's going to be the leader of the Predacons. The base. Somewhat basic, but but the but with the Predacons and Predaking, 
huge question marks are being placed on, on top of my head. Like, if they're going to bring the Pedicons, is there a chance they're going to bring the Maximals as well? I mean, it's a big if. It, big if. I don't know if that's a possibility. And to be more fair, there's going to be, po be a possibility that the Dinobots will make their pre premiere as well. Because they they've been shown in the comic books recently, and and it's obvious they're gonna gonna drag them into the mix. So yeah, basically this could this could be a different type of arc all in itself. But still, what about the Autobots and Decepticons? Are they gonna are they gonna be shown less in this season than than what what they've been doing throughout the past two? It feels that this is a big stretch on, in my imagination because this is, leads to the second option I'm iffy about. See, in seasons one and two, they have like a total of 25 to 26 episodes tops. Pretty much bigger than any other, other um, season on any series imaginable. Season three, they decide to cut it in half and make well, not half, like um, one third of a quarter, like a two thirds or something, to make it into a 16 episode arc. A part of which I find completely baffling is be because how can you even cut a season in half? Like, make it 16 episodes. I mean, when you think about it, Autobots, separated. Me Optimus, we don't know who, if he died or not. Predator King and the Predacons. Big, big threat to to the Autobots. Putting it in a 16... It could be... It deserves a 25 episode slot of its own. Not 16. That doesn't work. And... And even if... Even if... They put... They put all these characters together... What's gonna happen to the Autobots? I think I'm gonna be going out from town to town... Trying to go ahead of the... Have the Decepticons? Do they have like special emergency bunkers for for them and the human circuits to hide until they they can regroup? Is there an op? Is there any way for them to survive without any energon intake, or better yet, any chance of survival whatsoever? I mean, seriously, it this doesn't deserve a sixteen episode slot, nor does it deserve a deserve any new cat rushing in new characters that even we're not going to be prepared to see. The final option I want to point out is their toy line. Yeah, I know, I looked at the toy line for their Beast Hunters collection and I'm very... What's the word? Baffled as to what's going to happen. I mean, when you look at classic characters like Bulkhead and Bumblebee and Wheeljack and and Optimus and stuff like that. Their their body designs is a whole lot more different, like something straight out of a survival survival iffy issue, like something straight out of Mad Max or even or even a bit of a um, Beast Machine type field. To be honest, I don't know if that they're gonna integrate the toy models with that of the season because I kind of like the models as though as they are indeed in Beast Wars that they change the models time in and time out because because they want to make make it more broader and more more crazy than ever same thing with Beast Machines too but having them to be changed into a different T different types of characters, well, character models, feels like it's a little bit of an alienation because we like the models as it as they are, and having them change could be, could be not letting the the folks. Folks prepare for what's going to happen. All in all, I feel that third season is going to be a washout. Nothing compared to the first season and second season. M more s better yet, it won't be as epic as the two seasons combined. I really don't know if this, if the people in Hasbro came up with this idea, or the writers, or the producers, or anyone, but still, 
it feels as though this would be a bad season, if not if not a iffy season. Now I know that this is gonna be bad, but there could be some cl good news. But I want to say something important that maybe anyone who is a Transformers fan watching this could think would be would be excellent. See, in my fan fiction, I've started on a my own third season, and it's and it's nothing compared to the to the third season they're gonna put together. Oh sure, they're gonna have Preda King King for in one in a second episode, but still. Mine is a whole lot more better. This is actually my first episode. It involves Return of Mac and the human surrogates Jack, Raphael, and Miko along with June being turned. Well, I don't want to spoil much, much because because I want you guys to read the story just to see it. Um, I think what I wrote is a whole lot more better. I got like over eighty reviews for the past five chapters, and I'm still. I'm still into the development, as long as the s college work and and a job I'm doing doesn't mess up on the whole scheduling. Indeed, it's gonna. Indeed, I'm gonna continue writing it while the th while the real third season comes on the air. But I feel that this is a whole lot more better than what the, what the people in in Transformers Prime are doing. If you wanna if you wanna read the story for yourself, feel free. The, script, the link is on the description page right down below. So, click on it, read it for yourself, see if my version of the Season 3 is much better than their version. You might enjoy it. Other than that, I just hope that maybe if third season, third season is, isn't going to be what we expect, maybe they'll repair it on the fourth season. If we have a fourth season. Because when you think about it, Transformers Anime, we were hoping for a fourth season, but that was scrapped and cancelled due to Cartoon Network's scheduling. So, if... If the third season doesn't work, and we don't get a fourth season... I just hope that we don't... I just hope that this... I just don't... I just hope that... I hope that this won't end the third, end the Transformers Prime universe. I really do. This is a Lewis Anna Trans. Thank, thank you for listening to my thoughts on the um, on the soon to be released third scene in Transformers Prime. And I and stay tuned for more videos. And again, if you want to read my own version, links links at the, on my description. Thank you for watching.